time of year when the gyms are full, but your kitchens are sparse. But just because you're buckling down to shed some pounds in 2020 doesn't mean you can't enjoy some delicious food. And to prove it, I asked the dish crew on Oz, Gail and Daphne, to be here today. Thank you for taking this challenge on. Hey. What are you dishing up today? Exciting. Oh, okay. So we have the carb-free, keto-approved recipes for every January diet, including a creamy chicken dinner, a chocolatey dessert. Yes, you heard that and everyday brunch foods you're going to love. I can't wait to show you guys these recipes because I think they really drive home the fact that eating well does not have to mean eating bland. This is really flavor packed, delicious food. So let me ask this, Gail, are you a dieter? Is January like a scary time no, for you? No, I have to say I am not a dieter, at least not a traditional dieter. I find the word diet conjures up all of these expectations, all of these judgmental feelings. It kind of sets me up, at least in my very limited experience, kind of feeling terrible about myself. So I I, I always want to reset after the holidays. Right. I, I do not hold back over the holidays. I eat, I drink, um, I indulge because it's the time of year and it's flowing freely. And it's worth it. And it's worth it. And it is, and it's those exciting moments. Like I love to sit around the table with my family and eat great food, but I'm not going to make myself feel terrible about it. January, I do want to reset. I do want to eat more cleanly. I want to pack in more veggies. And just being kind of moderate, balance is what I go for. And also stepping up yeah. my exercise. You have the healthy approach. That's what we need to do. I, I try. Yeah. It's hard, as we all know. We but, struggle. Uh, well, we've tried to make it a little easier. Because I don't want to have a diet this year, right? But if you want to reduce your risk of disease by up to 20% in 2020, it's a big number, 20%, and also lose 20 pounds, not, not by amputating a limb, but by doing the right thing for a period of time, we're going to offer you something called the System 20. There's nothing to buy. Just follow the system laid out at drize.com slash system20. The new rule is about intermittent fasting, which is something that's got a fair amount of science behind it. I personally have been doing it for a while. Now, I do 12 hours, but for this program, we want you to be a little longer. From 7 p.m. to 11 a.m., you're not going to eat food. You're sleeping most of the time anyway. And we've done away with breakfast, everybody. No more breakfast, which means brunch is the new normal. Oh, great. So a big brunchy lunch. Yeah. A big breakfasty lunch later in the day. Just enjoy it, but don't force yourself to cram food and it's six in the morning when you're exhausted and trying to get to work and you want to have coffee anyway. Do you like that? I do like that. So the idea is you're eating between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m., yep. squeezing everything into those eight hours, not eating the other 16 hours of the day. And within those seven, within those eight hours, you can still kind of eat pretty much well and f until you're full, you're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna feel deprived during that time, which I, I think is really important. I want you to eat well. Yeah. If you're starving yourself, it's not gonna work. That's a diet problem. Yes, right? The reason they don't work is who wants to be miserable their whole life? So remind everybody, the System 20 meal, it's got a simple formula. It's protein plus greens plus beans plus flavor which is why a dish crew is so important. Now, luckily, when we're designing the food for System 20, we got a lot of help from the Dish on Us foodies, and along with their team, they designed recipes I would never have thought of, wouldn't have crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, you see here a collard green wrapped burrito, which you're going to want to bring it to work and show off to your colleagues every day. Kathy, dish the details <laughs> on this. I can't wait Fine. to eat this. This is, this is the way that I love to eat, and, um, and the way that I sort of approach it is, are there little swaps I can make, like swapping out the burrito wrap for a collard green, which we're going to do here, um, without sacrificing the experience of eating, the celebration of eating, which I think is so important. When you're trying to adopt a new mindset, I, I loved what you said, it's that it's about becoming mindful again. It's yes. about, you know, we, we're carefree during the holidays. We're having a great time. January is about coming back into your body and checking in. So this is going to be a really simple, fun and, uh, combo for the collard green tortilla wrap. We are going to use ground chicken or ground turkey, whatever you have, which we just sauteed here with some fire roasted tomatoes, a little garlic, spices of your choosing, give it a nice brown bit of flavor and bit of crunch coming together here, plus canned pinto beans that I just tossed together with pico de gallo, which is just that kind of raw salsa. You can pick it up at pretty much any grocery store or make your own, some onions and some tomatoes. So flavor in both of the components. We are gonna wrap those into collard greens, obviously. I find collard <laughs> greens so beautiful. They're like they're like prehistoric. They are. They are. They they're amazing. fan, you guys. It could be. <laughs> we can make a flower arrangement. It's a bird. It's a plane. But the, what we're actually oh that it does generate quite yes. a bit of Big fanning. <laughs> but what we did was we just blanched them, and all that means is we dropped them into boiling water about a minute, so they soften up, and then you immediately take them out and plunge them into an ice bath. That's going to stop the cooking process, keep them really nice and tender, bright green, but make them soft and malleable enough that we can wrap them around all of our delicious fillings. So I'm going to take some of that turkey mixture, 
And again, the kind of the trick with all burrito making is not to overstuff. I like to do some fresh herbs. I actually don't like cilantro, but it works here. So here's one thing I want to show you about the way that I laid these leaves up. I took two of them and I laid them back to back like this. I took the heavy stem out. I laid them back to back. So we've got one leaf, two leaf, and now I'm just going to fold them into your kind of traditional burrito wrapper like this, right guys? Oh my goodness. Nice, nice. and easy. Okay. That's what you're gonna do the night before. Wrap it in saran wrap if you have it. It can then, be so jealous at work when you go I in there with that. So that's nice. I Whoa. Check that out. And then the really nice bit is you want to just, if you wanted to do a platter of it, if people were gonna join you to eat, a little more pico de gallo, a little Greek yogurt, a little fresh lime juice goes a long way here. Who wants a fresh Thank one? You. Greek yogurt. Mm. I love that idea. Yum. Should we taste it? Oh, no, no. Oh, you're off the plate. <laughs> I'm off the. I'm off the grid. I'm going. I'm going rogue. Here we go. Mm. This is the way to go, guys. This now, is so Gail, give us a taste, and I want you to be truthful about this. Does this feel like it's a diet that you just entered on, or is this some joyous occasion that happens to be called System 20? No. This is everything I want to eat. Like, it feels filling, fresh, all good ingredients, all whole, great food. It tastes alive. It tastes great. Like, like you should when you eat this food. I'd happily eat this for lunch every day. What I like about the System 20 is that the possibilities are endless with what you can eat. It's the variety, which is the spice of life. You can mm. use so many different ingredients. Take a look at this everyday brunch cauliflower fried rice bowl. Mm. You're gonna wanna make it immediately. Come back, the carb-free, keto-approved chicken recipe your whole family will love. Stick Yum. around.